Alrighty, YouTube, so it's your boy Zeoxys. Um, today, we're going to be doing another guide. As you guys noticed, probably, the videos that are gonna be coming out are more towards the newer players or anybody who still needs help with Nikkei. Um, this is for the people who are going to be coming into the anniversary, right? An anniversary of any game is where you should expect the most players to join your game. Obviously, just because it's like, ooh, this is the anniversary level character. Anniversary characters are always broken and this is where you get the most rewards possible. So expect a lot of new players to come to Nikkei during the anniversary or even even a lot of players to come back during the anniversary and that's why these videos are being created right um and this video here could be good for anybody, right? I doubt a lot of people are gonna find this video helpful since it is going to be a reroll guide. That's exactly what this video is. Um, characters you should aim for now with the selection of characters that you are able to reroll for. And I'm gonna let you guys know why you should be rerolling for them and all those good stuff, right? Other than that, um, about the live stream. As of right now, I don't know if I'm gonna be live on the Saturday, which is gonna be very unfortunate because let's keep it a G, your boy has the best live stream well um, just it's just so fun right i'm mean, your boy actually has energy and stuff like that no shots but let's keep it a buck your energy my energy is match, right um so when it comes to you know the live stream it's gonna be unfortunate your boy might miss out on actually going live during it um i had called my wi-fi people or whatever and apparently the wi-fi that i currently have it's just me yapping but this is important for anybody who actually cares right but the Wi-Fi I have is at the highest level, so we're trying to actually get um, new Wi-Fi. I'm going to try to get them to come here tomorrow or at least on Thursday or Friday to come bring in new Wi-Fi from a new company, and then I'll let you guys know if we're going to go live or not. But anyway, let's get into the actual video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Let's try to get 10 new subscribers, 50 likes, 100 likes. Let's try to get 100 likes. I'm going to see you guys. Let's go. So obviously, there is a boat of... Boat I have all the characters, right? I have all the characters and I've used all the characters. I can let you know who you got to go. So if you are rerolling, right? I would say a very helpful character to reroll for is generally going to be Red Hood, right? This is the first anniversary character, right? Now, there's a lot of reasons why you would want to reroll for this character, right? First off, she's a burst one, two, and three character. So no matter who you end up pulling on your account, having access to someone who's a burst one, two, and three and can go into her burst one two and three stage and giving herself that much of a buff that she does she's gonna help you clear through majority of the game like beginning of the game and even midway and late game like let's keep red hood having three different burst skills and being broken on two of them and even her second burst skill is going to be quite useful for obviously um early on in the game as well right but just having access to a character who does what she does is like quite crazy right she's giving defense buffs to all allies which is going to be helpful she's giving an attack buff to all allies when you use her burst skill her burst one um she's doing insane damage she's giving herself an additional attack buff of 71 these are level 10 levels obviously but she is a support and a massive dps so having access to red hood is definitely something you want to get it just makes sense right another character is crown now this is a support right she does do damage right she can do damage because um the thing about crown is that she's a massive like damaging support right she's gonna keep your team alive and she's actually going to make it that you are going to do damage no matter what character you have i think crown is a fantastic character to pick up i would probably prioritize crown over red hood realistically just because no matter who you get crown is going to make them do enough damage for you to clear through the beginning of the game midway of the game and even to an extent late like later of the game as well right it's just that red hood is a burst one two and three where it's like no matter who you get you have all three bursts already covered just by one character that's why she's like the go to pick but this character crown right here is the character that literally makes any dps you have do a lot more damage where if they are considered a garbage dps where you are as a new player in the game this character will make your garbage dps a godly dps that's how broken this character is right um she's just too good she taunts invulnerability so she can't take damage if she does get healed she's giving an attack damage um buff to all allies right she has a shield more attack damage buff if you use your burst skill you get an attack buff and reload buff if you don't use your burst skill you get defense buff and really it's too much she's too much and she's too good so this is like these two are easily your top two picks 
Now, I would say Scarlet is another character that you would want to reroll for. This is a DPS. This is all she is as a DPS. She has no supporting mechanics. She is a DPS, and she is actually the strongest DPS in the game. This character is literally a godsend. What she ends up doing is giving herself such a massive attack buff during her burst skill that she's shredding. And even if you're not using her um, burst skill, she's just doing so much damage regardless from her first skills, right? Because after three normal attacks, she deals an additional 250. 50 aoe attack after six normal attacks it's additional 500 percent again aoe and then um well i guess it, it's somewhat aoe it's going to one enemy the first time right and then it's going to what like a decent amount of enemies the second time and then it's aoe the last time and that's again of 750 percent these are obviously all level 10 skills newer players are not going to have level 10 skills just keeping it honest but this character even at level five even lower levels is going to carry you and then when you go into her burst skill the effects goes from three six and five normal attacks to one two three normal attacks with a massive charge damage buff which is basically more damage and then an attack buff which is more damage and of high numbers 150 115 percent attack 150 percent charge damage it's quite crazy you're gonna need her right another one is modernia these are like the four characters you should be aiming for modernia is a fantastic character regardless she is like the most universal i guess after red hood now right but she's so universal right she's like somewhat of a support um she's gonna keep you guys uh, basically her the way her kit works is like she's kind of like a sustained character with her burst skill right just clearing a boatload of mobs for 15 seconds um having like a little radius aoe unlimited bullets she does does she does too much damage and attack buff crit damage buff that stacks up um hit rate buff so you can actually hit your enemies like she's just so good and unlimited bullets unlimited bullets when you use her burst skill this character right here is another dps but um you're going to notice when you do pull her and it comes to like certain things like too much enemies are in the way or too much projectiles are coming or whatever you're going to notice that modernia is like a character who can kind of handle every single thing in the game right no matter what's being thrown at you she can handle everything whether it's projectiles whether it's just too much mods whether it's a boss whether it's parts she specifically can handle every single thing in the game so i would say modernia is like a go-to character right obviously i would the exact order i'm going into is like kind of your priority so red hood first crown second scarlet third modernia fourth that's kind of like your your priority or whatever but these are all pilgrims of course and i would say it does make the most sense to reroll for pilgrims since you are able to get um the non-pilgrim characters a lot easier right with wish lists and even modes and stuff like that pilgrims are a lot harder to get so it does make sense to reroll for some of these pilgrims and lastly even though i do think she's like kind of falling off compared to a lot of the other characters in the game i'm not saying she's bad she's just not as like number one as before because there's a lot of new characters who are just better i would still say this og scarlet is still fantastic right if you guys are new to the game this character was like the main reroll character for when the game came out like everybody was saying reroll for this character because of how broken she was back then right and keep in mind it was only her when she came out none of these other characters characters that i've mentioned were out in the game right um she has an insane aoe she does too much damage she gives herself free at level five that's so doable 100 percent attack but for landing 10 normal attacks um five times right she's too much like additional 100 percent like um final attack is additional damage when she gets attacked she gives herself crit rate massive aoe um, crit damage buff um freaking permanently after her hp falls below 60 percent too good too good she's just too good like easily just too good for early game early game mid game even somewhat late game even i want to say late game still not even somewhat this character is just too good right i do think all the other characters are better obviously but this character you cannot go wrong with this character right so those five characters are the characters you cannot go wrong with actually let me just put them all on the screen so that you guys can uh see it but i'm not going to tell you guys to reroll for every single character in the game right because again a lot of the characters in the game are not pilgrims which means it's a lot easier to get them than these characters all five of these characters are quite difficult to get so it makes more sense to reroll for the characters that are more difficult to get right um but any of these characters you cannot go wrong right there's only one support in here realistically but she's good as a dps as well especially early on crown is probably going to do a lot more damage right um so exactly in this order i would say one two three four five once you have it in this order 
you're good to go so yeah you guys let me know if this was helpful um if you are an older player obviously then this doesn't really matter to you but if you're a newer player trust me i am a veteran um if that does give you some of like um how do you know i'm like how do i know i'm trusting you how do i know you're saying what's right if you guys would like to in the comments down below go ahead and vouch there's a lot of other characters that you could go for that are non-pilgrims as well but i'm not going to talk about them just because i know it's going to be so easy for you guys to get them right um so yeah this is who you guys should be going for for all we see one of these not any of these pilgrims but a pilgrim character could be getting a favorite item and if it is isabel and they do make her good um you guys are going to be able to guarantee get um isabel through golden tickets as well if they do make her good we're going to see but other than that this is going to be the end of the video hopefully it was helpful for you guys i'm gonna see you guys in the next one i'm out later peace